Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, I'll show you how to add the countdown timer on any WordPress website. Here you will see some examples of countdown timer that I have added on a WordPress website. These countdown timers are fully customizable. You can change the color settings. You can change the layout of the countdown timers. And to add the countdown timers on a WordPress website, I'm using the Spectra Page Builder plugin. This is a free plugin and it will add more than 30 blocks to the default WordPress Gutenberg editor. I have already published a video on how to install and use the Spectra Page Builder plugin. In previous videos, I have shown you how to add the table of content, how to add the post slider, how to add testimonial slider, how to add the tabs on a WordPress website using the Spectra Page Builder plugin. I'll give you the link to all those video in the description box. Now let's see how we can add the countdown timer on any WordPress website. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website. Let's go to one of the demo pages here. I'm on the pages. Let's open one of the demo pages. And on this page, we are going to add the countdown timer using the Spectra Page Builder plugin. All right, so we are on the demo page. In one of the previous videos, I have shown you how to add the tabs on a WordPress website using the Spectra Page Builder. Let me show you the tabs. I'll give you the link in the description box if you want to know how to add the tabs on WordPress website. These are the examples of the tabs. All right, so let's go back to the demo page. Let me delete the tabs and we will add the countdown timer here. Now here you will see the plus sign. You can click on the plus sign and search for countdown or you can go to plus sign here and you will see all the blocks which are available under Spectra. The countdown timer will be the part of Spectra blocks. Here you will see the countdown. Click on it and let's close this. Now this is the default layout of the countdown timer and here you will see some preset you can use the presets let's try this one this is how it will look the second one this one this one this one let's go to the first preset and we will check the settings of the countdown timer these are the presets let's go to general and here you will see the option to set the timing now as of now it is set to 6 28 a.m and the date is set to 13th of June. And right, so from here, you can change the date and time. Let's say I want to set the countdown timer till 8th of June, and it will be like, let's say 8 p.m. I want to make it 8 p.m. So you can select 8 p.m. here, and you can set the date here. So it's going to be two days, 30 hours, 30 minutes, and five seconds. So this is how you can set the timing in the countdown timer. And here you will see the show days. If I delete, it's going to remove the days and it will convert the days into hours. Now it is two days. If I disable it, show hours. If I delete that one also, it will show minutes. So it has converted the days and hours into minutes. So here I can show the days, hours, minutes, and seconds. Let's go to labels. Here you will see the days. If you want to change it, you can change it. However, I don't think you need to change it. Let me show you. Instead of days, I can say day. You don't need to make any changes to the labels. If you do not want to show the labels, you can simply disable it. It will not show the labels. Let's go to separator. You will see the separator here. Show the separator. And this is a kind of separator. Right now it is showing call and sign. You can use line or slash. So I can use the call and slash that looks good. All right, let's go to style settings here. Here you will see option square box. Leave it as it is. Overall alignment. So this is the total alignment. It will be center aligned to the left, to the right. Inner alignment. You can see the changes here label position right now it is at the bottom you can make it to the side to the right side this one also looks good background type transparent or color so here you will see the 
style settings for the background color let's change the color let's do one thing let's copy this one copy the block and we will add new block here Control v so the same block we we are going to change the style settings on the second one so this will this is the first example this is the second one on the second one we are going to change the background color let's use this one you will see the changes here you can make it transparent or color box width this is the box total box and you can change the width gap between let me show you 20 30 so this is the gap between the boxes 40 gap between digits and labels you will see the change in the gap style border radius this is the 50 percent radius that's why it shows the circle if i make it zero you will see the square boxes so let's make it 50 percent radius change it to percentage instead of pixel you can change it to percentage and it will show the circle now here you will see digit go to digit and change the color to let's say white here you can change the size right now it is set to 56 you can change the size of the digit let's go to label change the color of the label you can also change the size of the label this is the separator you will see the separator here you can change the color of the separator separator right spacing we can change that one and let's make it center align this one looks good now this is the top spacing so from here you can adjust the spacing box shadow here you will see the shadow effect all right so let's go to the next one that is spacing if you want to add padding you can add padding let's go to advanced here you will see the display condition if you do not want to show the countdown timer on any specific browser you can select that one and from here you can select let's say firefox so it's not going to show the countdown timer on the firefox so this is how you can use the display condition responsive if you do not want to show the timer on mobile you can simply hide it for the mobile so here it will not show the timer on the mobile device If you do not want to show it on the desktop, you can select desktop, hide on desktop. This is Z index and this is advanced. You do not need to worry about this. So this is the second countdown timer. Let's try another layout. I have just copy pasted the first one. Let's try this one. This one itself looks good. Do you not need to make any changes here? Let's add separator here. Let's go to style and change this separator position here. Okay, the color is white. Change it to black. This one looks good. Let's try another copy paste the first one. Let's go to preset and use this preset. Go to style settings. This is the box, square shape box. label position is to the right side this is the border if you want to change the border color you can change the border color this one let's make it black let's save this and let's view the page let's add spacer it does not look good so just enter and add spacer between these countdown timer Let's update it and let's refresh it so here you will see four different types of countdown timers that we have created using the spectra page builder plugin you can adjust the timing of these countdown timers from here and under general you will see the option to change the time for the countdown timer so this is how you can use the countdown timer in a wordpress website using the free spectra page builder plugin that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section. And press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.